So hi everyone, thanks for joining me on Phenomenal Beauty. I just wanted to share with you what I got in the Last Habit Bridal Box. You've probably already seen what is in this one, but I thought I'm going to show you anyway. I actually ordered this at the end of July and I only just got this uh, now. I had to sort of chase it up. I think something got lost in translation from where I ordered it because I ordered it with something else. And Anyway, better late than never. So I think the turnaround is probably only uh, within the week or so because uh, once I contacted them, it came out fairly quickly. So... That's a good thing. I'm thinking, you can't wait for it for so many months if you're sort of organizing your wedding, but it's a good little pack, so it was worth the wait. Anyway, that's what the box looks like, which I think is quite sort of nice. It's sort of that mint blue uh, little stripe, brighter box. And uh, we'll open it up again. There's the nice blue. I'm not sure if you can get the uh, actual paper in that themed. But anyway, it's still a nice little box. I mean like themed to your actual uh, bridal colours. Anyway, what's in the box? So you've got the bridal what's in the box. Uh, so obviously this runs down what is in it, which is always good for your bridesmaids or your organisers. You don't just have to give it to your bridesmaid. I'll be the people that you'd like to. There's a little code for appellies, and I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. There's a long light crystal moisturizing hand mask which is quite good there and I put the value down below of the box as well so it cost me sorry it cost $50 for the box there's a model co gel eyeliner with inbuilt brush and I know that's yeah 2695 in value I don't have to look that up so I got one in the other other box this is good I think it's the macro lash look at that so it's up to you. You could probably give it to your bridesmaids before the wedding if you wanted to use some of the products or just a gorgeous little present afterwards. Or even just your maid of honour. Look at that. So macro lash. Wow. So you've got the fixing serum, mascara and the fibres. So it's that two piece. Uh, there's a little mini size of the Scandinavia, Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. And I really do like this one. I had a little mini sample and something else and I really liked it. There's that Apelles, Apelles, Bath Caviar, Amber and Patchouli. I'm going to use this. I finally have a place that we have an actual bath in. So finally I can use bath products. So, so next thing is the Inica Illuminizer. Let's see if I can actually crack the box open to show you. There we go. Oh, it's like a pink. Pink tone. So very pretty. Still more. There's the Paula's Choice All Blighting Papers. Something that's really good for your bridal day. Like if you don't want to have to keep sort of putting on the sort of touch-up powder and stuff like that. Little blotting tissues wouldn't go astray. There's also the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights, another face illuminator. So you've got the powdered one, the mineral powder. And now you've got this, so you could probably mix into your foundation or however you want to do it. So full size again. And then you've got some samples. Oh my goodness. Happy Skin Care. There's a Pig in Mud Mineral Mask. How cute is that? And the another mineral mask. So there's Mature and Sensitive and okay, normal oily in combination. So it's a good little sample one there. That's good. I mean, you can even just get a couple boxes and break up the different products to other people if you want to just use some of the products in maybe a little baskets that you're doing for your bridesmaids. However you want to do it, it's I think a good little combination of products. Uh, as well so that's it is nice so that is a nice little one and as far as i know they're all the same i'm not entirely sure i will put a link though down below to the actual uh box so you can have a check out in your leisure and that's that so that is it is really fairly weighty um sort of products as well so cute very cute and i guess you could probably send them out if you just wanted to send them out to your bridal people or your organizers or what have you your celebrant okay guys anyway thanks for watching and take care till the next unboxing because i'm sure december is going to be mad with unboxings so again happy festive season